Now, in regards to managing, configuring our subscriptions in the Microsoft 365 world, um, it's important to know where all this is going to happen and how we can uh, configure the options that are available to us. So here we are in uh, portal.microsoft.com or also known as admin.microsoft.com. And uh, from there, I can drop down right here where it says billing. Okay. And a couple things I can look at here. Uh, number one, I can look at licenses. So if I click on licenses here, uh, this is going to pop up what exact uh, a license licenses that are available based on my subscription. All right, and as you can see, I have the Enterprise Mobility Plus Security E5, and I have the Office 365 E5. Okay, um, which are the uh, these are the main two that that I have. These are the two you ha you should have. Some of my uh, lessons that I show you, I may have some other licenses, but these are the, the main two licenses that we'll, we'll need in order for, um, for us to kind of practice and play around with all this stuff. So, um, as you can see, uh, I can click on each one of these and it shows me how many of these, uh, licenses are available. And if I wanted to assign uh, a license to a user, for example, right now I could, I could say assign a license. Okay. Uh, and that would allow me to assign a license to a particular user, okay? Of course, you can also assign uh, licenses to users directly on the user itself or uh, when you create the user if you want, okay? But that's how many licenses I've got, right? You can also click on Manage Purchases if you, if you want see your products, but I want to look at um, um, uh, Purchase Services here. So let's click on Purchase Services and right here, we can really look at what, all the different options that are available to us, right? Um, so right here, we have Microsoft 365, and here are the Microsoft 365 Business Premium. Uh, they tell you month to month. So different billing options that are available to us we can go with. You can look through these different billing options and some of the different things that you got, right? Um, at that point, I also have... Uh, Office 365, so there's Office, uh, e, Office 365 E5. Same thing, I have different um, payment options here that I can go with. Uh, you have the business apps available to you. And keep in mind, you can always click uh, details on any one of these and you can see details on what you get. And it kind of gives you a breakdown kind of like the website uh, the website does. Although I like I like to look at it from the website standpoint. Um, it gives me a, a good, uh, more detailed breakdown than this does in some cases. But you can see what you're gonna get. You can see what it's gonna cost you. They tell you what the yearly plan is as well on that. All right, let me go back over here to purchase services. You can also, if you want, you can say to show me all, in this case, 23. So I can scroll down now and I can see everything listed out here for Microsoft 365 if I want. All right. Um, the other thing that's really cool about this is I can go through and compare. If I want to compare uh, some of the things that, I, that I'm looking at here. So for example, if I wanted to compare... Let's do E5, E3, I can say compare. Come up here to the top and click on compare your products. It'll let you add uh, three different products there that you can go with, all right? So it's gonna go ahead now, it's gonna create a comparison. And as you can see, I now have a nice little breakdown. And that's something that you didn't really get out of the website that's kind of cool, is the ability to go through here and compare, okay? So this is a great way for you to sort of evaluate what you got. Um, and as far as you know, being able to configure uh, your subscription, you can go to your products and see what you've got, see what your licenses are, and you have the ability to assign licenses. Although I'll I'll talk more about assigning licenses, but um, you know, this is just in this in this regards, it's just looking to see what you get. Uh, another thing too is, you know, we, we looked at Office, you know, three sixty five e five. The Office uh, three sixty five e five gives us you know, the, the office products and all that. One thing you can do though, that's kind of cool about this, is you can see this information here and you can see how it, it the, the light, it licenses out and all of that. 
But you can also, another way of doing this is to jump over to the, um, to the Azure portal. So if you actually go to, let's go to portal.azure.com, as I like the, the way that this kind of um, shows you everything as well, and you can go to, click the little menu bar here, and then go down to Azure Active Directory, and then we're going to click on Licenses. So we'll go to Licenses, all right, and then from there, I can click All Products, and you can see the same two licenses we just saw, okay? So I'm going to click on Office 365 E5, and then I'm going to click on Service Plan Details. And so notice that this, this kind of just breaks it down for me and tells me the different um, products that I'm getting out of the Office 365 E5 plan in this case. So here's all these things that I can assign to my users if I want. All right. Now, I'm, if I assign the whole entire uh, license, they're going to get all of this, but I can actually uh, enable, disable different things maybe that I, uh, maybe I don't want the user to have. Let's take a look real quick at the EMS subscription. So let's go back to Licenses, and then let's click on Enterprise Mobility Plus Security. This is a, 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 pack, a package that's full of security capabilities that you get with your um, Office, uh, Microsoft 365, Office 365. So let's go to Service Plan Details, and here's all the things that I'm going to get with that subscription. So Azure AD Premium 1 and 2, ATP, Advanced Threat Protection, Information Protection Premium 1 and 2, uh, Azure Rights Management, Azure uh, Multi-Factor Authentication, Cloud App Security Intune, all that. Keep in mind, uh, we're going to go into more detail on a lot of this stuff as we move along, but this gives you a, um, a breakdown of what you're getting out of that. So it's important to understand what we've got with our subscription plans, uh, as well as being able to look at some of the other plans that we could purchase. All right. So hopefully that gives you a good breakdown between the two, looking at the Microsoft 365 portal, the Azure portal, and kind of seeing what we've got. Mostly though, if you're gonna, if you really want to compare things, you're gonna have to do that over here on the Microsoft 365 side of things. This is John Christopher. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I want you to know that I'm trying really hard to grow this channel, so I hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe. Also, if you'll check the description in this video, I've got a link for you that can show you how you can get access to all my different courses. I have lots of different Microsoft certification courses that'll help you pass your exam. All right, thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope to see you again.